Good afternoon traders, it's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures and it's your Midday Market Minute. We're seeing the S&P out above major three star resistance, out above 3,850 and we've said a close above there will create a little bit of a melt up factor. However, the NASDAQ, it's falling back just a bit, 79.58 is our major three star resistance. It's pulling back, you know, what matters most here today is if it stays decisively and closes decisively out above that trend line from the record highs as it's started to here today and it needs to maintain that. Uh, and otherwise, it pours a little bit of cold water over the action we're seeing in the S&P. Amazon's down, Facebook's down more, uh, but overall, the NASDAQ needs to show what it can do here today with the S&P trying to move higher. Now, looking at crude oil, it, it moved up. We've talked about the Morning Express today. Uh, you're starting to see some jawboning come from OPEC and, and furthering supply cuts. Now, this ripped the crude oil back up to major three-star resistance, but major three-star resistance is holding. We're seeing it pull back just a little bit here. We remain bearish over the longer term, but like we said, the bulls were in the driver's seat out above 53.5, 53.80 here today, and that's what we've seen overall uh, in the near term. So stay nimble, but a lot of overhead resistance, and we want to see that hold. And then lastly, looking at gold, we're seeing gold. It's holding against major three star support uh, overall it's not a new, nothing new there's no catalyst here to really move gold higher there's not a whole lot of new data and you get equity markets within a near shot of record highs that's holding safe havens back without a doubt now you have the ecb on thursday going to get some currency volatility due to that but for now gold does not have a catalyst to move out of above 1500 but who knows we could see one right around the corner give us a call we're here to help with anything on the board 312-278-0500